Hello, I hope you do well and welcome to Jim's Nightmare Chapter 1 Walkthrough without commentary. Special thanks to Sky Dan Games for giving me a copy and before its release. The game comes out on June 4th. In this game we play as Jim, who is an ex-gangster and is struggling with mental illness. Where you uncover the mystery of the shadowy figure bent on killing you and then you discover the secrets lurking beneath the surface. The gameplay is done by Paragon. Like the video if you've enjoyed this. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I hope you will like it. Enjoy. Just another nightmare. Do I need to change my clothes? No, they look fine for now. Everything looks good. Or maybe not. Maybe I should visit the barber shop. These flowers are Mary's favorite. She always lights up when she sees them. My schizophrenia pills. I might need to refill my prescription. Do I need to change my clothes? No, they look fine for now. Hello? Hello, Jim. It's Mary. Mary! Hello, sweetheart. How are you doing? Great. We had a good trip. Had? Well, I wanted to let you know I'll be there in about an hour. Great. I'll be waiting. Also, you were quick to pick up the phone. Were you waiting for my call? Did you expect me to sleep when you're not here? <laughs> not really. Take care. I'll see you in a bit. Bye for now, Jim. Bye-bye. Well, Jim, let's get this house in order before Mary arrives. I want everything to look perfect. Want to call someone? Don't think so.
Mary's birthday. I think she turned 24 or was it 25? It looks cold outside. It might rain tonight. It looks cold outside. It might rain tonight. Oh, police caught the robbers last night. Ha <laughs> ha. They're not nearly as fast as I am. That's why they're stuck working for the police. <laughs> ah, my trusty cigar pocket. Alas, my stash is dwindling. I'll have to score a fresh batch from Netley. I prefer to eat something before I sleep. The workshop is coming up soon. This TV show again? Everything seems so boring. Where's the controller? I just need a glass for the water. Hmm, let's see what we have here. Oh, bowl of salad, some refreshing drinks, and a jar of jam. Hmm. Oh, here, the lasagna we had last night. I could warm it up for a quick and tasty meal. Thinking about heating up the leftovers. I'm pretty hungry. Now we just wait for the magic to happen. Why am I leaving? I'm not gonna turn it off. It's dark enough. Jenny and I, I don't really wanna look at that. Mary's birthday, I think she turned 24 or was it 25? 
Here's Timothy and me from a few years ago. Ah, those were the days. But let's not talk about the gang in the dark ages. My youth. Wow. Look how much younger I was back then. Perhaps even a little more handsome, too. Ah, this TV show. Everything seemed... Where's the control? I prefer to... These flowers could really use some water. I'll grab some for them. Where did I put that watering can? Looks better now. What is this? It looks like the manual for the fuse box is here. Looks cold outside. It might.
Why do I look like this? What the hell is happening to me?
I can unlock it now. Just need to figure out the pattern. Nothing from that board but a piece of leather. Why do I look like this? What the hell is happening to me?
shit! Ah! Ah!
Well, they're not exactly known for their hospitality. Yeah, I guess so. So what got you locked up here? Bad luck, I guess. Same. What's your name, dude? I am Billy, uh, Billy Barkoff. Jim Hounds, right? Word on the street is, you're the best damn car thief in town. I don't know where you heard that. But if it were true, I wouldn't be stuck in here. Check this out. I've been looking for someone like you for a long time. I want to start a gang. I need the best guys I can find. We got a plan to rob a major mansion. We're gonna make up with a fortune. What do you say? Hold on now. I'm not looking for trouble. And even if I was, why would I trust a random dude with a cheese dick haircut like you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was rude. But before you make up your mind, hear me out. We've got a foolproof plan. And it's going to be a big payday for everybody involved. Plus, I can help you break out of this place. You don't exactly have many options now, do you? I guess I have one. I can rest here all day and you can think about your plan. I had a bad day already. So if you don't mind, I want to sleep. If we get caught, we'll end up right back here anyway. At least if we try, we have a chance of getting out. Huh? It's your call. All right. Let's say I accept your offer. What's the plan? Are you familiar with guns? Hell yeah. I know guns inside and out. <laughs> All right. Let me tell you the plan. Mary! It's so good to see you. Hi, Jim. I've missed you so much. Feels like it's been ages since we caught up. Yeah. How was your trip? Well, I went on a girly trip with Daniela. It was so much fun. And we had a fantastic time. We went shopping, sightseeing, and talked a lot about you and Timothy. I'm glad you had a good time. Thanks. How have you been? I'm... I'm doing all right. Are you sure you're okay? You look wet. Uh, I had a little accident in the bathroom earlier, but it's no big deal. Before we get into that, let me grab some coffee for us. Fine by me. Oh no, Jim, your food in the microwave is burned. Uh, sorry about that. No worries, I'll handle it. So, you had an accident in the bathroom? I slipped and fell in the bathroom. It's these damn hallucinations. Sometimes they really mess with me. Nothing is real. How do you know this one is real? What, what, what the hell? Are you okay? Damn. Are you out of your medication again? Yeah. I forgot to refill my prescription. I'm gonna do that after we catch up, though. Do you want to talk about it? She was blaming me again. It's hard not to blame myself sometimes. 
I know it's tough, but you can't keep blaming yourself for things that aren't your fault. Jim, you are not responsible for everything that happens around you. You need to stop blaming yourself for things that are out of your control. I know you're right. It's just hard to remember that sometimes. I know, Jim, but I believe in you and I know you'll get through this. It's almost time for you to head to the shop. I'll see you after work. Ah, uh, yeah. Lana will be here soon. Goodbye, honey. Take care, Jim. And don't forget to buy those meds. Mark's probably swamped after a long day of teaching at the university. I ain't gonna bother Daniela. Me and Timothy pulled off something big to make this happen. <laughs> huh. Right now, I've got nothing to do with Timothy. Looks like Netley hasn't opened the shop yet. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of stuff on his shelf. Mr. Helms, I don't know what happened. When I arrived, it was already like this. Okay. Don't worry. Let's clean this mess up first. You pick up trash and I'll look for replacement windows. Sure. Shop dirty windows. These boxes actually belong to the shop next door. He always left useless things here, idiot. These boxes actually belong to the shop next door. He always left useless things here, idiot. Unbox packages for sale. I put those expensive phones on the shelf and started wondering if some slick thief would come and steal them. You'd need to be like the ultimate burglar or something. <laughs> There's a lot of trash in it. Lana's little office. She's like a pro at this computer stuff. It's crazy how good she is. I got here a bit late today. I can head home even sooner. Hmm, seems like I need a key to open it. The router's not responding well these days. 
I keep forgetting the things I'm supposed to do at the store. Just some engineer books and manuals. Best collection I've ever had. Old Netley may have a new one after all. Mr. Barlow gave it to me as a gift when I first opened the shop. I don't need to call anyone now. Hmm. I think it's probably better to update later on. A safe for shop stuff. Is everything all right? Yeah, I got it. Did you manage to find a replacement window, Mr. Hounds? No, I'm still looking for him. Now, let's replace these damn windows. There we go, all fixed! Yes, it looks far better than it did before. Yep. So, I'll be working on a few devices. It needs much work. Great. Now I'm off to go keep an eye on the cameras. I'll wait for you inside. It's a tad chilly out here. Okay. I'll be inside in a moment. Sounds odd. But I will handle it too. Better get in. It's cold here. Looks like this laptop isn't working. Not sure. Did you check the connection? Let me do that. Seems to have some sort of connection issue. This happens often. I think it's best to give the Wi-Fi company a call. Mm, all right. Where's the number, though? I can't remember, but I wrote it on a paper. Must be around. Okay. I'll check it. I keep forgetting the things I'm spo- Phone's dead. Put those expenses you'd need to be like. Still working on that device? Yes, it's a bit annoying, but I have everything under control. I have no doubt about that. <laughs>
a safe for shop stuff. Phone's dead. Hmm. I think it's pro. Welcome to the dead battery. I still have a lot of stuff to do. That's not gonna happen. Just some engineer books and manuals. It says, you could try this new med. Bullshit! That commercial's a total lie. I've already tried those pills. It didn't do crap for me. The only thing that works is what I'm using now. I'm not tall enough. That's not gonna happen. Nah. Just some engineer book. It won't work. Nah. Still working on that device? Yes, it's a bit annoying. But I have everything under control. I have no doubt about that. <laughs> Bunch of screwdrivers and tools. I got here a bit late to I can head home even It won't work. still have a lot of stuff to do. Shop dirty windows.
It's fixed now. The called number is wrong. Please check the phone number again. The called number is wrong. Please check the phone number again. Hello, this is the Wi-Fi Company. I'm Aaron. How may we assist you today? The router's not responding well these days. I didn't check the cameras.
Hey, it's Mary Beth's phone. I'm out and about right now, so if you need to reach me fast, hit me up on my other number, 145-145. See you soon. What the? I'm coming for you. What? What the hell? What on earth was that? I need to close up immediately. We need to finish up early today. Um, why exactly? Just take my word. I'm dealing with some stuff. I'll call a taxi for you. Thanks, but I can walk home. It's personal, Lana. Please just trust me. I'll call you a taxi. Oh, come on. I don't need one. I can walk home. Nope. It's not happening. No arguing. Okay. Buy those meds first. Hey there, old man. Well, hey there, Mr. Hounds. How you doing, man? Doing fine. And you? Life goes on, can't complain. How's Lana doing? Is she still excelling at work? Yeah, yeah, she's great. Hard-working girl. Just like me, she's my granddaughter after all. Yeah. By the way, I'm here to pick up my medication, as usual. Ah, yes. Mary came by this morning and picked it up for you. You closed up shop a bit early today. Anything special going on? There's something personal I need to take care of. Is everything all right? Yeah, don't worry. Just needed to go home sooner for some personal reasons. It's not a big deal. Just something I have to handle. Okay. Anyways, could you remind Timothy to settle his bills? He's been acting a bit strange lately. What's been going on with him? He keeps coming in, buying those energy drinks. And then he gets into heated political debates with me. I haven't seen him for the past few days. Hmm. Maybe he's having some personal issues with Daniela. Are you sure he left the drinks and he's not drunk? Yeah, he won't drink. Last time he drank, I found him in the subway with street fighters. He won't do that. I don't know, but I suggest you visit him. Ah, sure. I'll do it. Thanks anyway. Bye, Mr. Hounds. Hey, Daniela. Oh, look who decided to show up. Long time no see, Mr. Series Pants. What's up? Nothing much. Just living my best life. By the way, you missed out on all the fun on that trip with me and Mary. Too bad you couldn't handle the girl power. Girl power? Please, I've got better things to do. Well, I got something that could shake things up for you. How about getting a tattoo? I'll make you look badass. Thanks, but I'll pass on the ink. Not really my thing. Aw, come on, Jam. Live a little. You could use a bit more edge. Perfectly fine without it. Speaking of tattoos, what's the story behind that one on your face? Isn't it Timothy's tattoo also? Are you guys starting a secret club or something? It's kind of a long story. Well, well, well. The mysterious Jim reveals a little crack in his tough exterior. I knew there was more to you. Don't get any ideas, Daniela. Now enough about me. 
How's Timothy doing? Haven't seen him around lately. Uh, he's been a bit of a ghost lately. Not sure what's going on with him. Maybe he's hiding from your serious vibes. I'll have to check on him soon. Thanks for the heads up, Danny. No problem, Jimbo. Just remember, life's more fun when you let loose once in a while. <laughs> Take care, Mr. Sears. <laughs> Will do, troublemaker. Catch you later. It's locked. I don't need a ride. It's locked. Mark's probably swamped after a Want to call someone? Don't think so. Oh, police cut. They're not nearly. That's why they're stuck working for the police. My schizophrenia pills. I might need to refill my prescription. It looks cold outside. Hey! Oh, you're here, honey. It's early. Yeah, I was eager to have dinner with you. How sweet and romantic. I'm whipping up some chicken. I can't wait to dig into your cooking after a three-day trip. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I got your meds, too. Yeah, Netley filled me in. Thanks. No problem at all. So what's the latest on Timothy? Just paid him a visit. My awesome brother. He's doing fine. All right, I've got a few errands to run. I'll be home soon. See you soon, honey. Take care. What the hell, man? How'd you even get in here? Seriously, what's going on with you, Timothy? Look, dude, it's complicated. Back off. You promised me and your sister you'd leave that damn alcohol, remember? And now I find you wasted on the floor? I know, okay? Just leave me alone. No way, man. Something's up. Daniela said you haven't been around for days. And now I catch you high and drunk? Something's not right. Yeah, just take a seat. Alright, spill it. What's happening? You see that letter on the table? 
Yeah, I see it. Some motherfucker said that to me. Check it out. You sure it's not some sick prank? A prank? This letter spills all our secrets, man. Our address, the gang, everything we done. Just one slip up and the cops could nail us. God knows what else this guy knows. I was cooking for a customer when I heard a knock. Opened the door and there was nobody there. Found this damn letter though. No witnesses. I opened it and freaked the fuck out. Grabbed a pipe and smoked up. A few drinks to shake it off. Then I tried burning it, but the damn fuse went out. That's when he showed up. Wait, who is this guy? Some black figure, man. Dressed up like a damn ghost. He broke in, punched me in the face, said he flying over the damn sofa. I tried reaching for my gun, but he cracked me on the head with something. He said, give this letter to Jim, and then he vanished. When I woke up, everything was back to normal, like nothing had happened. And there's the letter right there on the table. That's fucked up. I know you probably think I'm insane, but you believe me, right? Actually, I had a similar encounter. I found the shop window smashed. And the security footage shows the same guy holding a message that said, I'm coming after you. What the fuck, man? We're in serious danger here. That's why I made sure Lana got home safely and I checked up on Mary. We need to confront this guy and find out what the hell he wants. Go pay Netley, talk to Danny. She's your damn girlfriend. Yeah, I know. I'll get that sorted. Can you remember the exact time all this went down? Nah, man. I can barely recall if it was day or night. That blow to my head messed me up. What does it matter? I've got a plan. You go sort things out with Netley and Danny. I'll stay here and see if I can find any clues about this creepy mess. Alright, homie. I'll get it done. Good. But stay sharp and figure out what the hell's going on. The table might have fallen too when Timothy got beaten. Or maybe not. Ugh, this stuff again? I bet Timothy went through a whole pack of those. Hmm, what was bro cooking? Huh, green lamp. Timothy's favorite color. Those speakers are crazy loud. Gonna pretend I didn't see what bro was watching. I know you too well, Timothy. I swore I'd never lay a finger on one of these again. I'm a fan of this band, <laughs> hell yeah. Just like Timothy said, it's flipped over. I swear, if Timothy read one of these things, huh? Like 
So if I'm that guy, the first thing I'd do is bust down the door like Timothy mentioned. Then Timothy goes to burn the letter. So when Timothy tries to burn the letter, the guy sucker punches him. He must be lightning fast to get here in a second. Timothy got tossed over the couch. So Timothy gets tossed over the couch. Can't say for certain if the sofa got flipped over or not yet. There might be a clue that shows if it got turned over. Yeah, the sofa got flipped. This guy must be insanely strong. This force is beyond what some untrained random guy could do. Then Timothy goes to grab the gun. So Timothy comes over here to grab the gun. Then he gets knocked out. That's it, game over. This guy completely kicked his ass right here. So we know he's trained, strong and fast, clearly not an amateur. So why did he leave these clues for me? Does he want to play with me? Let's play then, Mr. Creepy. Time to go home. Mary's probably waiting. Nighttime is probably the best time to come back and dig deeper into this whole thing. Hey, Danny. Good to see you again. Yo, Jim. What's up? Remember that trip we went on three days ago? Yeah. I ain't no goldfish, Jimbo. I remember. Did you happen to notice anything suspicious around Timothy's house? Anything happened to my boy? Nah, nothing serious. Just one of his tracks is missing. There's a chance we can catch the robber or something. Ah, gotcha. Well, it was around 3 a.m. when we were about to leave, and I saw a guy hanging around his home when Timothy wasn't there. Ah, I see. Thanks for sharing that with me, Danny. You're welcome, Jimmy. Hey there, old-timer. Well, howdy, Mr. Hounds. I was wondering if Timothy had any visitors lately. Well, not many folks swing by his place. Yeah. Why, you ask? One of Timothy's rap tracks has gone missing, and I suspect one of his friends might have taken it. You know, they're not the most trustworthy bunch. I don't remember if Timothy mentioned having a guest. How he doesn't remember? Timothy had a fall recently and is experiencing some memory issues. Really? I should pay him a visit and see how he's doing. Definitely. By any chance, do you remember when he last had a visitor? Well, let me think about it. It was around 5.40 in the afternoon, and that's when I heard a strong knock at Timothy's door. Unfortunately, I don't recall much more than that. I see. Enjoy the view, old man. <laughs> Cheers! Yo, any luck with those old letters? 
Nah, man. No clues or anything useful in here. How about you? Did you file a case yet? Nah, not yet. Still gathering some evidence. I was thinking maybe we should go talk to the neighbors and see if they know anything. Good idea, bro. Yo, any luck with those old letters? Nah, man. No clues or anything useful in here. How about you? Did you file a case yet? Nah, not yet. Still gathering some evidence. I was thinking maybe we should go talk to the neighbors and see if they know anything. Good idea, bro. Hey there, old timer. Well, howdy, Mr. Hounds. I was wondering if Timothy had any visitors lately. Well, not many folks swing by his place. Yeah. Why, you ask? One of Timothy's rap tracks has gone missing, and I suspect one of his friends might have taken it. You know, they're not the most trustworthy bunch. I don't remember if Timothy mentioned having a guest. How he doesn't remember? Timothy had a fall recently and is experiencing some memory issues. Really? I should pay him a visit and see how he's doing. Definitely. By any chance, do you remember when he last had a visitor? Well, let me think about it. It was around 5.40 in the afternoon, and that's when I heard a strong knock at Timothy's door. Unfortunately, I don't recall much more than that. I see. Enjoy the view, old man. <laughs> Cheers! I don't need to run. Me and Timothy pulled off something. Hey, Danny. Good to see you again. Yo, Jim. What's up? Remember that trip we went on three days ago? Yeah, I ain't no goldfish, Jimbo. I remember. Did you happen to notice anything suspicious around Timothy's house? Anything happened to my boy? Nah, nothing serious. Just one of his tracks is missing. There's a chance we can catch the robber or something. Ah, gotcha. Well, it was around 3 a.m. when we were about to leave, and I saw a guy hanging around his home when Timothy wasn't there. Ah, I see. Thanks for sharing that with me, Danny. You're welcome, Jimmy. Hello, Mark. Hi, Mr. Hounds. Glad to see you, buddy. What are you reading there? I'm actually reading a book called N-Bell. It's about time and space theory. Ah, sounds like some advanced stuff. Anyways, have you happened to hear any odd noises coming from Timothy's house lately? Hmm, what exactly are you referring to? Yesterday. Hmm. Specifically yesterday? Nothing stands out in my memory. 
It seemed a rather quiet day overall. I see. Thanks for the update, Mark. I appreciate it. You're welcome, Mr. Hounds. You're welcome. Hello, Mark. Hi, Mr. Hounds. Glad to see you, buddy. What are you reading there? I'm actually reading a book called Enbell. It's about time and space theory. Ah, sounds like some advanced stuff. Anyways, have you happened to hear any odd noises coming from Timothy's house lately? Hmm, what exactly are you referring to? Around a few days ago? I do recall hearing some noises around 7 p.m. It seemed like Timothy was rearranging his place or something of that sort. I see. Thanks for the update, Mark. I appreciate it. You're welcome, Mr. Hounds. You're welcome. Screw heading home, man. I gotta... This I swear. Hey there, old timer. Well, howdy, Mr. Hounds. I was wondering if Timothy had any visitors lately. Well, not many folks swing by his place. Yeah. Why, you ask? Just asking. Well, I don't remember any recent visitors, to be honest. I see. Enjoy the view, old man. <laughs> Cheers. Hey there, old timer. Well, howdy, Mr. Hounds. I was wondering if Timothy had any visitors lately. Well, not many folks swing by his place. Yeah. Why, you ask? One of Timothy's rap tracks has gone missing, and I suspect one of his friends might have taken it. You know, they're not the most trustworthy bunch. I don't remember if Timothy mentioned having a guest. How he doesn't remember? It seems Timothy was drunk when the rap tracks went missing. Maybe that's why he doesn't remember much about it. Looks like I was right. Perhaps it's time for Timothy to reconsider his drinking habits. He's out of control. It could lead to all sorts of complications. Sometimes life teaches us important lessons. So no information? Well... I don't remember any recent visitors, to be honest. I see. Enjoy the view, old man. <laughs> Cheers!
I don't need to ride. Thank you. 
Gonna break those. Listen up. So there's this guy. Let's just call him Mr. Creepy. One night, while you were out, this dude sneaks into your place at 3 a.m. He sets up some weird camera and a device to control your fuse. Next day, around 5.40 p.m., he sends you a creepy letter. Now, here's the kicker. It's broad daylight, so he probably dressed normal and hit up Netley's shop or something. Then, boom. At 7 p.m., he shows up again, just as you're about to burn the letter. That means he's been watching you this whole time, and cut the power to get to you, and you bet he removed all his stuff he planted at your place. The time between his appearances is too short, so his hideout can't be far. That's all I got right now. Damn, bro. You got some detective skills or what? I don't know, bro. I'm headed home. Tomorrow we'll hit the town and dig deeper into this very creepy situation.